Hey guys, how's it going? Flintmon14 here. And we're back uh, right after we recorded the last episode. Uh, last episode we dueled Kaiba a couple times. And it is now night, so we're gonna sleep. And uh, is there any new mail? Let's check. Always want to check this before you head out for the day. Okay, and I actually made a... Um, kind of a bit of a different deck. So I don't know if I'll head to the second city yet. I kind of want to test this deck that I made. It's definitely a bit of a different deck. There's someone new there. Uh, who's this? Okay, Taya. Uh, tell you what, let's just duel the new person. Oh no, Mako. Mm. I don't know if this deck's ready for Mako. <laughs> I've been waiting for an opponent to enter my home territory. You shall fall before my oceanic creatures. Fear the power of the sea and my big hall deck. Very well, we have the power of unity. Yeah, so this deck is uh, definitely a bit different than my typical deck. Let's see if we can pull off the strategy here. All right. <laughs> now we will be dueling underwater, for I play a legendary ocean. This will boost my monsters by 200 points. Go, Red Sea Stick. All right, looking good, Mako, looking good. Uh, let's set Spirit Reaper, and end our turn, that'll be it. Go, my giant jellyfish! <laughs> Little do you know, my jellyfish has the power to absorb electricity, Flood. Your lightning vortex won't work this time. Ah, okay. So this is part of the strategy of this deck. Yeah, we've got Millennium Shield here. Pretty good monster. A Millennium item, it's rumored to block any strong attack. Now, I think I'm actually going to play Didi Assailant here. Take out his jellyfish while we can, since it is sitting on attack mode. Alright. Didi Assailant, attack! Slice from a different dimension. And that is a huge blade that uh, Didi Assailant has. <laughs> what you going to do? Bankai! <laughs> Yeah, look at that blade. That thing is freaking huge. <laughs> All right. Yes, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted, Mako. Attack me with your giant red sea snake. Because now DD Assailant will use her special ability, Mako. Now both of our monsters are banished. Because she was destroyed in battle. What do you got? Mama Grizzly, huh? I can take down Mama Grizzly, no problem. Ah, last will, perfect. Yeah, the strategy in this deck is actually coming together. Um, well, we're gonna use the last will combo next turn for now. Zarion Universe. All right. And really, we just need to see one more card, and I think this deck's strategy will be completed, believe it or not. All right, your mama Grizzly's down. The sea will never end. It's it's uh, force. I summon another mother grizzly in attack mode. All right, your turn, Mako. What you got? <laughs> the 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 depths of the ocean are endless. I activate salvage to recover cards from my graveyard. Next, I'll summon abyss soldier. Uh oh, spirit reaper might be dead here. Oh no no no, it's not dead. But he did bounce it, which is yeah. This is one of the better cards I'm looking for for the Flood deck. Yeah, this soldier is very good. Uh, by discarding a water monster, you can return one mon one card on the field to the hand. And it doesn't even have to be a monster, it's just one card. Uh, and in fact, this soldier is going to counter our deck pretty good, honestly. <laughs> now I activate Tornado Wall Flood. Now, as long as this card space up, along with Umi, I'll, I won't take any damage from your attacks. <laughs> Very well, Mako. I'll set Spirit Reaper. And I'm actually going to play... Swords of Revealing Light. This will stop your attacks for three turns, Mako. Your turn. Yep. Not a problem. Alright, 
I draw? Helosaurus, huh? That is a good draw. Uh, especially considering all he's got is, uh, uh, jellyfish. Yeah, let's special summon this. There we go. Yeah, get back, you monster. I don't care. Alright, and what we want to do now is play... Well, do I? Hang on. Maybe I should play Caterville only. We can always take out Abyss Soldier next turn. This is true. So for now, we'll take out... Now, this card does have the boost while you've got Omi. So we'll take out Sand Man, though. We'll take out Sand Man. No damage for Mako, but one less monster on the field. Alright. I'll take another giant jellyfish to my hand. Alright, Mako, you got me. I'll end my turn there. We will be patient and wait. Giant red sea snake, return to the field. Alright, we got plenty of monsters there, Mako. Alright, so I'll use Catfield Omen. And this will kind of be uh, revealing the combo in this deck. But yeah, I actually want to take this card, Cross Counter. Yeah, pretty interesting card, if I may say so myself. And now we want to play Last Will. Alrighty. Yep. And we want to summon Barrel Dragon. So I'll sacrifice these two guys. Helosaurus and Catagill Omen. Go, Barrel Dragon! Alright, and I'm actually going to use its effect on Mother Grizzly. That's the one I see as most problematic, believe it or not. Mm, didn't get it, but that's okay. Of course, what you want to do in this situation is definitely take out his Abyss Soldier first. Otherwise, on his turn, uh, he'll just bounce it back to your hand. Yeah, so... Alright, no damage, but that's okay, Mako. Now I'm in control of this duel. Alright, and with Last Will, let's see, let me select my deck here. There we go, activate. Be sure you don't hit the surrender button, yeah. <laughs> so with Last Will, I'm actually gonna take... Uh, let's take... Labyrinth Wall Defense Mode. that may go, I'll end my turn. Now, unfortunately, we have to shuffle our deck, so cross counter will go back to the bottom, but that's okay. Or get shuffled, anyway. Not necessarily the bottom, but yeah. Alright. Ah, and here's another part of the strategy. Check this out. Yep, request a handshake. If you have unity card in your hand by showing that card to your opponent, they must respond with a handshake. And if your opponent agrees, both players' life points become one half of their total life points. So, yeah, maybe you guys can see where the strategy of this deck's going. Got some pretty interesting cards in this deck. So far, so good. I mean, I know Mako's built a bit of a board presence, but uh, we're looking okay here, honestly. Looking okay. So, I'll... S Let's see, what else in the graveyard here? So we got Feather of the Phoenix. Um, honestly, I wouldn't mind getting Last Wheel back. So we'll activate Feather of the Phoenix. I'll discard Dark Magician's Tome of Black Magic. We'll add Last Wheel to the top of the deck. Okay, already used the effects. So let's just take out this giant red sea snake. That's his most powerful monster, so let's get rid of it. And I'll keep trying with Barrel Dragon to get rid of that Mama Grizzly. As well as all of his other monsters. All right, make away in my turn. <laughs> I draw. I'll equip Steel Chill onto my Mother Grizzly. Give me 400 more points, Flood. Ah, uh, great white. That is interesting. Oh, right, he can attack now because Swords is gone. Too bad you ran into my Spirit Reaper there, Mako. My Spirit Reaper can't be destroyed in battle. All right. Last Will, as we know. Uh, so we're going to use Last Will again. I'll tribute Spirit Reaper. We'll set that. And we will activate Last Will. There we go. Let's see. Dragon on Mama Grizzly. Got it. Sweet. There we go. Get 
kill. Triple laser discharge system. All right. And I guess I know he won't take damage. Now you know what? Let's take out his face down. I'm curious. I was gonna say, ah, let's just take out Great White. But I kind of honestly want him to attack with Great White. I don't know if he'll uh, attack a monster I distribute set clearly, but uh, yeah. Uh, main phase two. Let's use last will. Uh, this time, let's thin out the deck a little bit. Let's take Nimble Momonga, shall we? Yeah, defense mode, Nimble Momonga. There we go. That way we can also gain some more life points, so I'm okay with this. I uh, end my turn, Mako. Let's see what you got. Okay, yeah, so he, he's not going to attack our set monster. Normally the AI will. They normally will attack your set monster, so... But I guess since I tribute set it, he's not going to. Not yet, though. I imagine if he tribute summons his own monster, he would attack it, though. Alright, we'll set two more Nemo among it. Thin the deck out. There we go. Good, good. Alright, another face down. I draw! There we go! Alright, so check this card out, guys. This is the main strategy of this deck. Unity. Select one monster on the field. The selected monster's defense becomes the sum of the original defense of all face-up monsters on your side of the field until the end phase. That's actually a very powerful effect. Alright, so we'll use Friendship here. And since I have Unity in my hand... Yes. So, now we'll... We'll have to shake hands and check this out. Both of our life points will become, uh, yeah, uh, half of their total. So there you go. And now I'll set unity. So with that, our life points went up to 7,200. So that's good. Uh, now I will use Barrel Dragon on this face down. Very good. Your jellyfish is sunk. Alright. And we will attack his other jellyfish. So he should be out of those. Yeah. And we'll let him keep uh, Great White, mainly because I want him. I kind of want him to keep attacking. See if. I'm just kind of testing the AI at this point. See if he'll attack our uh, face down Labyrinth Ball. Alright, what you gonna do? Okay, he's going after the Momoka. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Actually, during the damage step, let's just test this card. Let's see. Let's see how it works. I activate Unity during the damage step, Mako. Now my Nemo Momonga will rise to 5,300 defense points. Holy crap. Oh, and he still takes the reflective damage. I didn't know that's how Tornado Wall works. Ah, interesting. So, if I do reflect damage, he still takes the damage on his turn. Hmm, this gives me an idea. I might have a way for us to win this duel, guys, if we can't get rid of his monsters. Magical hats, that's interesting. Very good. I've got that in here mainly to combo with uh, Big Shield Gardener, which I also have in this deck. Alright. Say goodbye to your great whites. And I guess I'll destroy the other one. Yep. Alright. Take this, Mako. Triple play plasma laser cannon. Man, this duel is... Man, we're up 14 minutes. I guess this whole duel is going to be testing the power of unity deck here. Wow. Well, he is down to 3,700, so I think we should be able to do this. So. Yep, we draw Labyrinth Wall. Good, good. All right. We'll go ahead and use Barrel Dragon here. Destroy his face down, Barrel Dragon. Ah. Oh, well. We'll just go ahead and attack it, then, Miko. Ah, oh, he happened to have Mother Grizzly. Man, his Mother Grizzly has dodged my Barrel Dragon, like, probably at least five times at this point. It's crazy. What do you get a summon? Go, see Mr. Sherman. That's, that's always a good call. I, I don't blame you for that. That's definitely a good call. All right, and we will set. 
in main phase two. There we go. I, in my turn, Mako, are you brave enough to attack my defenses? No, just a face down, huh? Well, if I get heavy storm or something, your life points aren't looking so good. Ah, giant germ, this is good as well. Will definitely help us lower his life points. All right, and hopefully he didn't get Torrential Tribute after all this time. That would suck. That would honestly really suck. But anyway, we will end the turn there. He won't take damage, so I'm not even gonna bother attacking. Yep, same as the Sherp. Back again. All right. Uh, DD Assailant is good. Dragon, plasma laser discharge. Ah, looks like we got whatever he set there. It was indeed Sinister Serpent. All right, I'll end my turn. Mako is stalling us pretty good. Turn 27. Holy crap. But yeah, as you guys can tell, this deck is more of a defensive deck. It's not really an all. Oh no. Uh oh, that's not good for us. Abyss Soldier is gonna, yeah. Start bouncing our monsters. Interesting. Very well, Mako. Oh, he attacked our face down. Labyrinth Wall. Ah, so now that his monsters boosted all the way to 24, he's brave enough to attack our uh, walls. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Well, I think I will. Hmm, should I let him keep that so he keeps taking damage? Barrel Dragon to get bounced back, so I will try to destroy it here. Success! All right. Very good, very good. And I guess hmm, kind of want Giant Germ to search before I sacrifice it. I guess I'll end my turn with that. Go ahead, Mako. Go ahead. What do you got? Sinister Serpent once again. He is just abusing that card. Yep, and it's going right back to the graveyard. Kyrushin! What's he gonna attack? Oh, he attacked our Millennium Shield. Good, good. So I guess if his monsters have 2,000 or more, Mako feels uh, good enough to attack our face downs. We're learning, we're learning. This is good information. Maybe we can get him to destroy himself. Um, so with that knowledge in mind, I'm actually going to tribute Labyrinth Wall for Labyrinth Wall. Mainly because we want him to do more damage to himself. We can't do damage with our attacks, so I guess we'll be doing damage from his own attacks. Yeah, get back here, Sinister Sherman. That's okay, buddy. As long as you don't boost your Kyrushin, I'm going to... Oh. Well. I guess I will be using Barrel Dragon's effect if I can. Am I going to survive? Yes, I will. Okay, good. Yeah, take more damage, Miko. 450. Well, he finally got it out. I mean, it has been 31 turns, so I shouldn't be that surprised. Oh, well, we finally got Giant Trunade. Okay. Ah, uh, well, in that case... Can I wrap the stool up this turn? I think so. Alright. I'm actually gonna target his face-down monster, considering we got Giant Trunade. Perfect. Thank you, Barrel Dragon. I love you. It was indeed Sinister Serpent. Okay. So what we want to do here... Now! Giant Trinade! Drain the sea! Just like in his duel versus Joey. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Alright. Now I'll switch Giant Germ to attack mode. And we'll summon DD Assailant. So we have enough damage. There we go. Now... It's time to end this, Mako. Looks like my barrel dragon has a uh, rust resi resistant armor. Your water monsters can't destroy him. <laughs> All right, and let's finally finish him off. DD Assailant, do it. All right, so that was a bit of an interesting duel, but honestly, we kind of used the perfect deck because 
I mean, for a while, he had the uh, tornado wall combo. So we wouldn't have been able to damage him otherwise. So pretty interesting. And we, yeah, get max reflected damage bonus. Friendship, new bonus, yeah. Now you guys see kind of why I wanted to make this deck. Uh, so yeah, if you do do, <laughs> yeah, if you do the uh, friendship bonus, we also got luck bonus, uh, which is interesting, I guess, because I use Barrel Dragon so many times. But uh, yeah, if you use the uh, friendship and unity combo, uh, you will get a new bonus. So there we go, 50 more points. And we also got 35 max reflected damage bonus. That's nice. 241 points. Yeah, so I know that duel took a while, but as you can see by the point spread, that was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. And we are at 21 minutes. Well, I know it was only a one duel episode, but it was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it to try our new deck. So guys, we're gonna save here. Yeah, save. All right. And with that, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the new deck. I mean, it, it's kind of nice to, you know, try something a little different, a, a little different strategy there. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for today. And I kind of got to learn something about the AI, too. I mean, because he wasn't attacking with the Great White, which has 1,800. But as soon as he had 2,000 with Kai Ryushin, uh, he felt good about it. So... Yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going to end the uh, video here. And uh, thank you guys all for joining me. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys all next time. See you guys then.